a bit of a dander today, uh, a bit of a wander, a bit of a beach comb. And uh, yeah, um, we were at the hospital today and it was uh, treatment number five. Uh, my wife Pam had today. <clears throat> I couldn't, uh, I couldn't update the uh, community page because the uh, the Wi-Fi in the hospital wasn't working. So, uh, uh, so yeah. So, uh, but anyway, that was uh, treatment number five today, and she had a. Uh, they do like a little catch up every every five treatments, uh, just to see how uh, how she was feeling, and uh, other than some tiredness and. Uh, then uh, no, she's uh, she's doing uh, very well at the moment, and um, yeah, I'd like to thank everybody that's uh, that's sending the the kind wishes and prayers, and uh, yeah, it's greatly appreciated. It's uh, it's definitely a tough time uh, for both of us, um, obviously for her, for Pamela more than me, um, but uh, you know what, we're uh, we're working through it, so. Uh, yeah, and if you didn't know, uh, my wife has uh, lung cancer, and um, uh, she's currently going through radiotherapy for uh, to treat it. So, hopefully, to uh, to destroy it. Um, but only time will tell. Um, there is a, uh, a just giving link in the description down below if you haven't uh, seen that. And again, uh, I will say that I don't expect everybody to donate. I know everybody can't donate. Um, uh, if you want to help me in another way, you can watch the video all the way through, uh, right to the bitter end, as they say. And uh, yeah, greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, you know, if you if you see an ad an advertisement that uh, that takes your fancy, give it a click, and uh, you know, it all helps. All right. Well, uh, with that being said, we shall crack on. See what uh, see what's happening today. All right. Back soon. And yeah, um, oh gosh, it's very, uh, very soggy at this bit here. Um, thought I'd pop down and uh, go for a walk along the beach, and uh, thought I'd start at this position here. And uh, thought I'd have a look and see what uh, what had changed up at the uh, on the works they were doing. Looks like they've uh, piled a load of the stones off the edge of the uh, edge of the pier there. Uh, for what reason they've done that, I don't know. But obviously, they've got a reason for doing it. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna have a bit of a wander around, a bit of a nosy, see what's uh, what's washed up over over recent months since I've been here. <coughs> and uh, if we find anything interesting, I shall uh, come right on back to you. Stay tuned. And yeah, there you go. There's the. Uh, the boulders that they've uh, <coughs> that they've pushed over the edge of the uh, edge of the pier there. Um, uh, as I understand it, there's a uh, like an outdoor centre which is to be built on this uh, on this pier here. So uh, I guess this is part of uh, of their clearance of the uh, of that uh, upper section of the pier. Oh, and they've actually. Hold them right the way along. I'll push the boulders right the way along. Just trying my best not to fall here because it's getting a little slippy. And these stones. Yeah, there you go. So you might remember last time we here, we were here. These uh, boulders were all actually right at the very top of there. And they were all sat piled up. <clears throat> and uh, it would seem that they've, uh, yeah, like, like I say, they've pushed them all down to uh, to here, maybe to reinforce this uh, this area. You see, the the sea comes right up here, so uh, so quite possibly, more than likely, just to reinforce the the front here. Oh yeah, there's uh, some of this uh, soil and stuff behind there. Let me see. Climb up on here. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So they kind of levelled everything off, though, no doubt they they're maybe, maybe going to fill that space there as well. But anyway, there you go. But I'm going to see if I can work my way 
all the way around and get back down onto this slippy stuff and get right back down onto the beach there. Okay, back soon. Yeah, boy. It's an escaped boy. Nice bit of chain on it as well. So, I would imagine that's been a, uh, a marker boy for a uh, for a, uh, uh, a boat for, uh, for where they anchor. It's done well to get washed up here with all that chain on it. Anyway, off we go. Over that way. Well, I don't know if you can see that. A couple of uh, steam engines and a, a diesel uh, a diesel engine on the front of it and lots of carriages. And uh, I'm assuming these are going up the west coast. They're, uh, I don't know if I can get you any closer, to be honest with you. Hang on. Well, they're sat there. I don't know how long it's going to take before they get moving again. Yeah, I think you can just about make out the, uh, the top of the engine there. I should be this close to the tracks, but I'm sure they'll let us off for this shot. How will that do you, boys and girls? That's a belter, eh? Well, this is one of my favourite. Uh pieces of beach to uh, just beach comb and wander along it is uh, very peaceful very quiet there's the first uh, first golf ball usually the first of many along here see now I do tend to get a lot of stoppers on here but you've got to really keep your eyes peeled and I'll tell you for a while look can you see it? I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll take you to it, look. Just there. You've got to really keep your eyes peeled. I'm not sure if that's a, another one there. Yeah, it is, that's a bar. <laughs> bar of Greenock, that's a good one. Don't have that one yet. Excellent, so, uh, so yeah, there's just two Two examples of uh, how you've got to get your eye in with uh, with beach combing, depending on what you're looking for, of course. Um, but yeah, yeah, that one there. That one there's just a bit too obvious. Look, sitting nicely up on the on the top for us, not hidden away like uh, like those last two. And it really is a case of. Uh, Looking at everything, thankfully, I uh, I tend to concentrate on the uh, on the black coloured items. So, uh, and of course, the shapes do tend to uh, do tend to stick out. Really, the, uh, the sort of man madeness of them. There you go. There's another one. Oh, half a one that one. <laughs> oh, and there's another one hiding just in there. There you go. See, so once you start to get your eye in. Then uh, they start to come out thick and fast. Cool, let's carry on for a bit longer anyway. So I'll, uh, I did get another couple there, I didn't show you, but uh, there's another one. And there's, there's another one there as well. So uh, they tend to come in little, uh, little pockets. 
Usually where you find one, you find two or three. There's another one, look. Yep. What's that one? Yeah, it's too warm to see, but probably a bar, I would imagine. Yeah, too warm to see on that one. But, uh, but yeah, like I say, they usually come in uh, little pockets, little collections, so... Uh, and all roughly around about the same... Uh, the same line in the tide, there's another one. Right and half in the sand, look. Oh, there we go. Oh. Nothing, uh, nothing on that. Um, but yeah, um, I've been collecting these uh, stoppers for uh, about three, three, nearly four years now. I've got quite a, a large selection of uh, of uh, embossed ones, you know, where they've got the uh, the brewery or the drinks company name on them. A lot of companies that are now defunct. Uh, one or two that are still going as well. And uh, and I collect these uh, these worn ones as well. Um, I've said this before, but they're uh, they're a very tactile uh, object. Are these um, stoppers? Um, uh, great. Uh, a great thing to sounds weird, but uh, a great thing to have in your pocket if you, you know, if you're stressed, you can just uh, just rub away at the uh, at the stopper, and uh, it's quite relaxing actually. A bit like a fidget uh, fidget uh, toy, really, more than anything. But uh, you find loads of this, uh, or I find loads of this uh, volcanic uh, basalt as well. Uh, you can tell it's volcanic from the, the holes in it, from the bubbles when it was being formed when it was still a liquid the bubbles of air trapped in it um, so yeah um, I have said before, the uh, this coastline is uh, as I believe there's a fault line just out just outside of the uh, the mouth of the Clyde there yeah so just outside, sorry a train just went past there um, just out by the mouth of the Clyde there there's a uh, I believe there's a fault line. We, uh, I did say in one of the previous videos, uh, about uh, six months ago, there was an earthquake, uh, quite a pronounced and uh, uh, quite unnerving, uh, very, very deep rumbling from within the earth. And, uh, and yeah, it turns out it was, uh, it was the fault line uh, having a little bit of a shift. Um, yeah, so, uh, so there you go. Typical of the uh, type of thing that gets washed up uh, amongst all the other detritus on this beach. Yeah, uh, rugby ball takes me back to uh, to my school days. I uh, used to quite enjoy playing rugby. A <coughs> uh, very hands-on sport. Play it now, like. But, uh, <laughs> There you go. Well, I'm just taking a gentle stroll back to the car, boys and girls. That's uh, really not a lot today. Um, just found another stopper there. Um, they get few and far between at this point. You don't really find many of them washed up here, so... Uh, uh, just for reference. Oh, there's another one. Just for uh, for reference, these are here because uh, just behind me, just behind this wall, there's the the railway line. I was just showing you the steam train there, which is going along the line. And then there's uh, a supermarket, a Waitrose supermarket. The uh, the Waitrose supermarket was actually built on the location of uh, the Helensborough town dump. So. Uh, so you do every now and again find uh, bottle stoppers, plenty of, uh, every so often, and uh, tantalising little pieces of uh, pottery and glass, that kind of thing, uh, antique stuff, uh, embossed glasses and uh, cream pots, that kind of thing, every now and again, and uh, only to be expected, like I say, the, uh, the dump was just over the wall there, and, uh, and yeah. 
Well, I hope that wasn't too uh, too boring for you. Um, remember, if you're new, subscribe's there on the uh, right hand side. Um, leave a comment down below if you are new. Say hello. I uh, I answer every comment and. Uh, if there's something you'd like to speak to me in private about, then uh, you can email me. The emails, uh, my email address is down in the uh, in the description there. Uh, yeah, thanks for tagging along. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.